All right, guys, so we just came out for a little bike ride today. We got Austin in the back taking turns with him. So what's up, Ariana? Hey. Great workout. I think we uh, rode about five miles. I'm exhausted. It's about 90 degrees out here. It's hot. It's about 6.50 a.m. Uh, today we have a, a pretty busy day compared to most other days that um, over the last few weeks. We have a patient who came to our clinic and who has signs of spinal cord compression, which means when we examine the patient, he has uh, signs that tell us that uh, something's going on that's pressing on his spine that uh, is pretty serious. And usually these are kind of urgent, emergent cases for us. The rest of our cases are canceled, the elective cases, which means cases that can wait for a few weeks or a few months. But uh, there are a certain portion of cases as spine surgeons where we still have to operate. And so I'm here at the hospital today. We have one case. The patient um, has uh, signs of cord compression, which means when we do things on physical exam, like flick his finger down, it's called the Hoffman sign. The thumb will kind of flicker so if you flick the index finger or the long finger, the thumb, thumb will involuntarily flick like that. Or they have reflexes that are really brisk, which means when we check their reflexes, like their triceps reflex, it jumps really fast. Uh, so signs like that on physical exam tell us that, hey, we need to be searching for something that's pressing on the spinal cord. And usually it's like a big disc herniation or a really bad arthritis. Well, today we're gonna do a fusion of his neck and we're going to uh, decompress the spinal cord basically just taking off uh, the pressure off the spinal cord so that that's a little bit later i have a virtual journal club which means that we meet with other surgeons from a fellowship in seattle and we're getting all together going over some articles and we're doing that online and then we're starting this case right after so uh yeah should be a uh, good case happy to be back in the or Unfortunately, it's under these circumstances, but uh, this is um, a urgent uh, case. The rest of our clinics are via telemedicine, which means we see patients on the computer, looking through a video screen, and then we're you know, working up patients. We're still, hey, what symptoms are you having? Are you ready to go to surgery? Is this bad enough where we need to pull the trigger? Most hospitals have, have a uh, system in place where you have to demonstrate that this is really an urgent case. Uh, it's really weird coming in today and seeing not a lot of people in the parking lot. The hospital is pretty uh, empty from the surgical standpoint. There's only one other surgery on for today. And uh, yeah, un unusual times, but uh, we're gonna roll with it. It's around 2 p.m. now. Uh, the surgery went well. We were able to do a cervical fusion for this gentleman who had signs of uh, spinal cord compression. I just went to go check on him in the recovery room now. I'm about to put in some orders for him, which means medications that he would need while he's in the hospital, physical therapy requests, and then uh, tomorrow I'll come see him early in the morning to see how he's doing, and hopefully he'll be able to go home uh, tomorrow. Uh, but I uh, want to thank you guys for following along over the last day or so. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.